Hello, in this video let me show you how you are going to add a form and manage the forms in LuidBiz BPM admin module. On the left hand navigation menu click on form setup. Now on, uh, you'll see three sub menus open up, just click on forms out here. Here you will see four new sub menus open up. To add a new form click on add a form. Enter the name of the form, say let's uh, call it say leave application form, enter a short code for the form and enter the number of sections of the form. Suppose that form has say two sections and if you need any document attachment for that particular form, suppose you need one document to be attached when this form is submitted by any user of your uh, LuidBiz BPM software and the company with which the form would be attached, your default company comes pre-selected. Now proceed to the second step. So you mentioned that you want one a particular uh, document now it's asking which document you need to be attached suppose say uh, proof of absence is the document that you want it can be a medical certificate or anything any proof because of why uh, which they have applied for the leave application and you can select if this document upload is mandatory or not suppose it is not mandatory if they have the document they can upload it now you also mentioned that you have two sections now it's asking you what are the two sections the first section let's say uh, we call it say general information and second section let's call it say leave details and uh, what would be the section type it can either be sequential or tabular so let's say the first uh, section is sequential and uh, it's the first uh, uh, position the position of that particular section is one and the position of the second section leave details is two and uh, suppose the section uh, two is uh, let's say it's tabular and let's hit on the submit button now it's asking us for the details of that particular two sections now the first section general information suppose uh, it uh, it's now asking us how many fields it will have say uh, let's say um, it has say two fields one is the name of the leave type and the second is the reason for leave so let's say this first section will have two fields and the second tabular section uh, say it has um, uh, how many rows and how many uh, columns it will have so say number of rows say let it uh, have two rows and uh, suppose is the row name required yes suppose the row name is required and the number of uh, columns and uh, suppose the number of columns is also say two and let's proceed to the third step so now it is asking us in the first section we said it has two fields what are the two fields say leave type name and it can be a varchar if we see select varchar then it will be a small field like this if you select text then we'll get a lot of the uh, submitter will get a lot of text area to write a lot of details it can be the date or date and time yes and no drop down, uh, drop down menu if you want or good fair satisfactory poor if you want a drop down menu on that or a different drop down menu that you have already defined under drop down menus so uh, let's say the leave type uh, name is varchar and uh, if uh, and the, its position number is one and is this uh, field mandatory let's say this particular field is mandatory now the second field is leave details or why the leave is required and suppose that is text then you allow the submitter to enter as much text as possible and suppose that field is also mandatory and its position number is two now we come to the second section the tabular section which is leave details so, and now we said that it has uh, two columns so now it is asking what are the two columns say uh, first column uh, we say suppose it's called say paid leave and uh, it can be suppose date and uh, uh, and it's uh, it's suppose it's not mandatory and the second uh, thing uh, second column is say unpaid leave and it's again a date and uh, suppose it's also not mandatory and uh, the row name the name of the rows uh, say 
we call it leaf 1 and say leaf 2 so this is just to show you how you're going to actually make the form so now once you add this form and then once you click on view active forms you can see that this particular form leave application form appears out here and this is how it looks like now if you want to make modifications on this particular form you can go back to list and against this form you have the option of editing the form or deactivating the form if you don't like it but suppose you like it and you will go ahead and publish the form now you before publishing you need to select the workflow template that would be attached to this uh, particular form so just uh, select the workflow template that would be attached to this particular form and publish it so once you publish it the sleeve application form would be available to all your users and they can submit this form by clicking on the submit form against the name of that available forms out there and suppose at a later date you don't want that form to be available at all to the to your users what you can do is against that form you can just go ahead and deactivate that form so once you deactivate that form that form will be moved to this list of view inactive forms and your users will not be able to view that form or submit it and if you want to view the total forms that has been submitted by the different users you can click on view submitted forms and view the different forms that are going and that has been submitted by your users to view the details of the form just click on the name of the form and you can view the submission details and the approval details and also you can view the status of the different forms that are being submitted in your system so this is how you manage your forms in LuidBiz BPM admin module Thank you for watching.